Warm Wishes. In this video, we are going to see the poem The Castle. The pronunciation for the word castle, C A S T L E, in British English is castle, and in American English it is castle. The writer of the poem, The Castle, is Edwin Muir. Edwin Muir lived during 1887 and 1959, was a renowned Scottish poet, novelist, translator and critic. He was remembered for his vivid poetry. He began writing poetry at a relatively old age and developed an individual philosophical style for which he gained recognition later in his life. First poems and chorus of the newly dead contain Muir's initial attempts. Muir's later collections include Variations on a Time Theme, The Narrow Place, The Voyage and Other Poems, The Labyrinth, and One Foot in Eden. essence in a nutshell. Edwin Muir's The Castle describes the capture of a castle through the eyes of a helpless soldier who witnessed the fall. Throughout the poem, the poet employs a constant A, B, A, A, B rhyme scheme. Being confident of the strength of the fort, weapons, access to the allies, readiness to shoot the enemies from the turret walls of the fort, the soldiers were relaxed watching the movers in the fields at work. There was no doubt about the valor of their captain and the loyalty of the soldiers. They were confident of the sufficiency of the food grains, even if the castle came under siege. Citizens slept in peace, but there was a wicked wicked gate guarded by an old man. The enemy bribed the aged gatekeeper and the castle fell into the hands of enemies. The brave soldiers had no weapons to fight against the human greed for gold. The castle is an allegorical poem. The castle is doubtlessly an allegorical poem. The outward strength of the castle is matchless. It has brave soldiers and large number of arms. The castle houses well-stocked granary also. It is very difficult to protect oneself against greed, particularly the love of gold, instilled deep in the psyche of human beings. People say the end never justifies the means. But in times of war, people stoop down to any betrayal to win. Thus, the castle is an allegorical poem.
Question answers. Who is the narrator in the poem? The narrator is one of the soldiers. How long had the soldiers in the castle fearless all through the summer? Why were the soldiers in the castle fearless? They had enough arms and fur. The gates were strong. The walls were thick. Who does V refer to? V refers to the soldiers. How did the soldiers spend the summer days? They were taking rest in the castle. What could they watch from the turret wall? They watch the movers working in the field. What happened to the castle? The castle was captured by the enemies with the help of the vision warder. Why couldn't they do anything? As they were betrayed for the gold, they couldn't do anything. Why did they feel helpless? As the enemies entered the fort in a deceitful manner, the soldiers were not prepared to attack them. What was challenging? Climbing the high walls of the castle was challenging. Which aspect of the castle's strength is conveyed by the above lines? The strength of the high and thick walls of the castle is conveyed by the above lines. Where was the enemy? The enemy was just half a mile away from the castle. Why didn't they seem to be a threat? They didn't seem to be a threat due to the height and strength of the castle. What do you mean by preventer? Preventer means food. Did they actually fear anything? No, they didn't fear anything. Explain load on load. The fortress is ready and prepared with ample weapons and stored food to withstand a siege. What is a tale? A tale is a story with interesting happenings. What was the shameful tale? The narrator calls the fall of the castle due to disloyalty as a shameful tale. Why can't the tale be told? The tale can't be told since it was about their shameful lose. How safe was the castle? What was the firm belief of the soldiers? The castle's gates were strong and the walls were thick, smooth and high. So, the enemies could not enter the fort easily. This was a firm belief of the soldiers.
Thank you. Thank you for watching.